sat at my desk. I just started I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Hartman. This is going to be the book that I read in this reading blog, if you had not already figured that out. Boyfriend and I are probably gonna go to the park today and chill and read there for a while. We recently bought some bicycles, which I'm very excited for. I haven't ridden a bike in so long. He's got a park that's kind of close to his house, so we go there sometimes, and then we bring like a blanket, and I bring a book, of course, and we kind of sit and read in the shade. We're also gonna hit the gym later, and then tomorrow we are going to the lake, so I'm pretty stoked for that. My dad has a van that he like gutted all the seats out of in the back. And so we make a little pallet in the back and usually just spend one night. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have some cool clips hopefully. And welcome to the vlog.
<laughs> All right, guys, I finished I Who've Never Known Men quite a few days ago now. It's been, it's been a minute. It's maybe been like a week or two. I've actually already talked about this in my March wrap up, um, which I will link in the cards if you guys are interested. But yes, I wanted to sit down and have a little chat about the book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm gonna actually get my little notes out. So I gave the book a four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It was jarring in the beginning because you're sort of thrown into the cage with the women and you don't really know what's going on. But Hartman kind of slowly unfolds their daily routine and you kind of see into their lives and, and you know exactly what's going on in this cage. I actually appreciated that a lot more than if it had been like an info dump. At the beginning, I feel like particularly young adult is really bad about this, where the first like 50 or 100 pages you'll get these big information dumps of exposition at the beginning. And I appreciated that Hartman um, kind of takes it a little bit slow and it feels a lot more natural that way. We kind of melt into this world and it felt a lot more authentic. So that was right off the bat one of the things that I enjoyed once I kind of understood um, their daily routines and kind of what was going on. So the main thing, the main event that kind of starts the plot off is in the 12th year of their imprisonment, an alarm goes off at the same exact time that the male guards were opening the cage door to feed them. All the guards, they scatter. They, we don't know where they go. The cage door is left open and the women are now unattended. That is where the sort of sci-fi, I would say kind of dystopic elements come into play. The world that they step into is very different than the world any of them remember, even though the memories they do have are quite vague. It's a lot less people-y than it was before. The only aspect in which this book is kind of similar to those sort of modern day post-apocalyptic type books is the fact that they do try to go into civilization and find people. They go into the cities, they do find people, but it's definitely not in the way that they expected. Another aspect that I really liked was they have no concept of time in the cage. So because the lights are on all the time, they don't know if it's day, they don't know if it's night. So the main character, her resting heart rate, they start using her pulse as a clock. So her pulse, her, her life, you know, her heart beating literally becomes the clock by which they live. And there's, I don't know, there's a metaphor there about time and life and how much time we have and how many heartbeats we have until we pass. I don't know, there's a metaphor there that I really like. This is not a book that's going to explain why the women were there. It's not going to explain why the world is the way it is now. It is not one of those types of books. The main theme of this for me was just survival and the willingness of the human spirit to want to continue moving on and not just surviving but thriving. I think that's the thing that I enjoyed most about the main character. I wish she had a name so I could I could call her by something. Um, but I also think Hartman did that on purpose so she's kind of like an every woman. She's just so hungry for knowledge because she's been caged up for so long since she can remember. She's so inquisitive and she's so curious and she's so hungry for, for knowledge and for life and to explore. And so even though her, her surroundings are very bleak and her sort of external world is, has been ravaged by who knows what, she still remains very inquisitive and very um, kind of curious and has that zest for life. Would definitely recommend it. And if you guys have heard of any books that are like this, I'm super curious as to what they are. Leave a comment below and let me know because I would really like to read them. So yes, thank you for watching more book and journal content to come, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Are you gonna stay right there? Oh, precious, ow.